Good afternoon, Miller Valley. My name is Sakaira Hamlet, and this is a Real Talk News. Here are your junior and senior updates. Fall ASVAB testing will be on October 3rd. Test prep and sign-ups will be in the counseling office. Senior makeup pictures will be on October 12th. Sign up with Ms. Burton and bring $25 on the day of the 12th. Our homecoming and pep rally will be held on October 6th. On Monday, show your love for the USA with America Monday. On Tuesday, bring out your inner child as you dress as your favorite Disney character. On Wednesday, we will have a clash of the brains versus bronze with mathletes versus athletes. On Thursday, we will have our freshmen dressing as babies, our sophomores dressing as toddlers, our juniors dressing as working class, and our seniors dressing as senior citizens. And on Friday, show your Midland Valley spirit by repping Midland Valley colors. Spirit Week is coming up, so you know what that means. Although we have a dress code, you can still participate and be the best dressed. We have Noel here to give you tips. Hey, Millen Valley Mustangs. So you want to dress up for homecoming week? Here are some tips and tricks to avoid getting dress coded during homecoming week. One, character day. Character day is a day made for dressing up as a character you see as an idol. It's pretty much dressing up as a favorite character. Now dresses, skirts, or shorts, up three inches above the knee. Carry the things that go with your costume, such as hats or headbands. Secure loose wigs with hairpins so you, they don't fall off in the middle of class. Everything must be covered. Wear tank tops under low neck tops or dresses, or wear a jacket over them. Two, Generations Day. Generations Day is the day for dressing up as your generation. Seniors are senior citizens, juniors are dressing up as middle-aged pe people, sophomores are toddlers, and freshmen are babies. Seniors, no low-cut dresses or see-through nightgowns. Juniors, no inappropriate dresses or blouses. Sophomores, no short shorts or skirts. No tank tops without a jacket. Freshmen, no bonnets in the building and no onesies or footsie pajamas. Three, Spirit Day. Spirit Day is to show your school spirit. No painted on shirts and very little face paint. No over the top hats or headbands. Lights or sparks or spinning things. Four. Disney. Disney Day is a day to dress up as your favorite Disney character. No over-the-top gowns or distracting clothing. No crowns or tiaras in the building. No over-high heels. Five. Mathletes. Mathlete Day is a day to dress up as your representation of a mathlete. No tank tops or shorts. No hats in the building. Hope these tips and tricks help you guys for homecoming week. I'm Noelle Burleson from Real Talk News. Back to you. Turning into a senior can be very costly. We have Kaylin here to tell us all about the price to pay for the class of 2018. Your senior year can be one of the best years of your life, but it can also be one of the most stressful. So exactly how much can your senior year cost? It can get very costly. Here are some of the costs. Class rings, cap and gown, graduation invitations, senior pictures. Okay seniors, here are some upcoming events you should know about. Don't forget seniors that Clash of the Class is October 11th. Makeup senior pictures are October 12th. Sign up outside Miss Burton's door, room 405. Bring $25. Yearbooks can be purchased online or in the art room for $56. But hurry, because prices will soon increase. Senior t-shirts will be on sale soon. They will be $12 or $13. We will vote for designs in homeroom soon. Senior baby ads can vary from $70 to $230, and they're due soon. Senior breakfast will be Friday, May 11th. It will cost between $8 and $10. Senior field day is May 18th. For Real Talk, I'm Caitlin. Back to you. Senior year is very intense. It is both stressful and exciting at the same time. Here is Will with more. Being a senior here, there are a lot to keep up with, including fees, classwork, but most importantly, financial aid, college, and scholarship applications. Go to the guidance office to apply for scholarships and financial aid. There is a lot of college choices, so you need to narrow them down. Applying for financial aid through websites like FAFSA. Senior year flies by, so don't wait until the last minute to apply for college and scholarship applications. For real talk, I will turn back to you. Freshmen are excited about coming to a new school. Sarah is here to give you an understanding about what our freshies are looking forward to. Transitioning from middle to high school can be a scary transition. A new school, people, and new teachers. However, high school doesn't have to be hard. I asked these freshmen to answer these questions on their freshman year so far. I'm going to the career center so I can do cosmetology. Letting the teachers help me and teach me more about what I need to do. Your life. 
getting a better education. I hope this helps you guys to have a successful and happy transition to your freshman year. For Real Talk, I'm Sarah. We've added new teachers to our Mustang family. Here's Megan to help you meet them. So I went around and interviewed some of the new teachers here at Midland Valley. I hope you like them. I came here from, actually this is my sixth year teaching, um, and I come from a background where I've done both graphic design of like doing logos, illustration, layout, and things like that. I've done that professionally, making books. I worked for a newspaper for a while, doing layout there, um, and I've made logos and illustrations freelance. Um, so I've done that professionally, but I've also taught for five years before this. Um, it's been a fantastic experience here so far. Um, Y'all are great. The students, are, I think, you all are my favorite part. I was working at the Aiken Standard. Um, I was a graphic designer there for a year, um, and then right before that was when I was teaching at Northside High down in Warner Robins, Georgia. Well, I studied German in college. I have a bachelor's and a master's in comparative literature with a German emphasis, and I was also an exchange student in Germany for several years. So I love German, I love the language, and I love the culture, and I want to share that with people. I worked in business for um, numerous years, both at a university and then in private industry. And um, I was also a stay-at-home mom for a while. I really like the kids here. They are excited about learning. And um, we encourage each other and we have high expectations. And I know everybody can do great here. So I'm, I'm very excited to be here. So those are some of the new teachers here at Midland Valley. I hope you have a great year. For Real Talk, I'm Megan. Back to you. With freshmen just coming into the school, they will want all the advice they can get. We have Maya with some seniors letting our freshmen know how to make all four years a smooth ride. Being in high school can be a challenge. Four years of juggling schoolwork, clubs, sports, and even jobs. But since the seniors are almost at the end of their high school experience, they are going to give some advice to the newcomer. Freshman. My advice to them would be do not slack off. I know it's your first year, don't slack off. Do not be late to class. Make sure you get to class and be good and obey all the rules. The advice I would give to freshmen is to study, don't procrastinate, and always turn in your work. Always listen to your teachers. Um, I would say to take advantage of every opportunity that you have and to make the most of everything. The reason why I give them this advice because if you screw up your freshman year, it can determine your 12th grade year and what you do after high school. The reason why I would give freshmen this advice is because um, you can rule your freshman year and colleges look at all four years of your high school career. Because they know what's best for you because it'll go by so fast. The number one thing I would tell y'all to pay attention to is your friends. The people that you hang out with now and that you came up with, they're not gonna be your friends forever. So pay close attention to the ones who are close to you. Pay close attention to is their grades and check down school all the time. Um, the friends that you hang out with and the people that you surround yourself with. Pay attention to who you like talk to and trust. Pay attention to the announcements in the morning. That was some really great advice. Thanks, seniors. Hopefully you freshmen take in all of that. From Real Talk, I'm Amaya. Back to you. Lots of new movies coming this weekend. We'll have a preview after the break. And how good are you at exciting whether the story is true or not? Stay tuned. Do you want this happening to you every day? No! If not, let me recommend Cool Gear water bottles. Very shock resistant and very stylish. It also has a clip on it that allows you to not carry it around everywhere you go. Cool Gear, the coolest bottle around. Exclusive price at $19.99.
Blade is Fight Back Hunger. Nestle Pure Water, simply the best. Hey, do you get tired of people asking are you thirsty and they had you water? I don't want no Dasani. I don't want no Aquafina. I don't want no Vitalia. I just want me a cold one. Nah, how about you take a cold one? Here, man. Oh! Thanks, man. Alright, man, here's one for the road, bro. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Hugs, the original cold one. Hugs, the best drink to clench your thirst, the original cold one. Welcome back to Real Talk News. Hey guys, this is Bryson reporting to you from the Media Tech Closet. Same place I spend the rest of my life. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the super dope segment we like to call Fake News. This part of the show is where we take three news stories, two of which are real, and one of which is Fake News. And you try to guess which one is. Are you ready? Then let's begin. A man set out to prove that Bush did indeed make the Earth flat. Wake up, sheeple, your lives are lies! By taking his spirit level on a plane and testing to see if it would become unlevel as the plane was supposed to dip. Now, this man's reasoning was that if the Earth is truly a circle, as the plane was moving through the air, it would have to dip periodically to not fly out of the atmosphere. And after 20 or so minutes of recording, which he proposed should have caused the level to dip five times, the level never dipped once. So I guess it's true after all. Bush did make the earth flat. So basically guys, the news is that rapper B.O.B. was right all along. A woman named Kelly McDaniel was attending Dragon Con the other week in Atlanta. She attended the con dressed as Loki, which many of you will know from the Marvel movies. The chair hit her in the head and she began bleeding profusely. She ended up needing a lot of staples to close the wound in her head. Kelly maintains that without her Loki headpiece, which seemed to have lessened the impact, the chair may have actually killed her. So I guess Tom Hiddleston saved the day after all, guys. So everyone has heard of the hit show Shameless. But some fans of the dysfunctional, crumbling Gallagher family are a bit more extreme than others. Recently, a man was caught trying to sneak into the infamous Gallagher house, which, interestingly enough, is a real house lived in by a real family in Chicago. Once the man broke in, that obviously prompted the people that lived there to call the authorities. Once the police arrived, they arrested the man and confirmed him to be 26-year-old Dave Nunez. When the police caught him, the man was dressed completely from head to toe as Lip Gallagher from the show. He was even wearing the infamous shirt with all the F words on it. You know the one. <laughs> Let's hope Mr. Nunez doesn't develop the same crippling depression and alcoholism as Lip. hey -o! So that, my friends, was the segment we call Fake News. Now it's your job to try to figure out which one of those stories was indeed Fake News. I've been your host, Bryson Chapman. Bye. What are y'all doing this weekend? Y'all can come to the movies and watch these three movies that I picked up. I had emergency surgery to perform in Baltimore. Stranded on a mountain after a tragic plane crash, two strangers must work together to endure the extreme elements of the remote, snow-covered terrain. Realizing that help is not on the way, they embark on a journey across hundreds of miles of wilderness, pushing each other to survive and discovering their inner strength.
Nobody knows where we are. We're all we've got, me and you. We can go three weeks without food, three days without water, and three hours without shelter. We might die together, and I don't even know you. Officer K, a new Blade Runner for the Los Angeles Police Department, unearths a long-buried secret that has the potential to plunge what's left of society into chaos. His discovery leads him on a quest to find Rick Deckard, a former Blade Runner who's been missing for 30 years. I did your job once. I was good at it. Things were simpler then. I never told you what happened to my sister. She was only six. A mysterious masked killer terrorizes members of a family at a secluded estate. I have seen Mrs. Holloran playing children's games by herself. She's getting worse. I'd like some time alone with my daughter, if you don't mind. That's a Hanya mask. Looks like one's missing. <laughs> Nothing to be frightened of. We have to go! We have to leave! Now! Never speak my sister's name to her again. Understand? No, no. He's coming. For real talk, I'm Victoria Barefoot. Back to you. Anna hit the halls to ask our Mustangs questions about the number one movie on everyone's. Stephen King's new thriller, It, is one of the most popular horror movies out right now. I went around to ask some people questions about It. I think me and Pennywise will probably have to have some words and you know my three dogs are probably not like him also so probably wouldn't be a good day for Pennywise. <laughs> for real talk, I'm Anna Barton, back to you. Everyone has a different opinion on certain situations. Preston hit the halls to get opinions from Midland Valley students. There are rules in school that are implemented. Some that we agree with and some not so much. Today, I will be hitting the halls to get students' opinions on different situations, and this is the great debate. Power hour? Power hour. Oh, right there. Oh, power hour. Okay. I think they should come for the classes that they need. Why you say that? Because they probably don't need all the cl extra classes. They seniors, they don't want to be here. I already been for three, four years. 
only classes that they need while I come the whole day. And why you think that? Because seniors should have a privilege, a privilege to wear a senior layer and we should have to come to school the whole day. Because we earned and we worked so hard for it, so. What's your name? I'm Jeremy. I got a question, Jeremy. Uh, the classes they need, why you think so? Because they're seniors, so they're about to graduate anyway. They shouldn't come there for four classes when we need like two or three of them. All right. I think they should be allowed to take the classes that they need because they can use the extra time in order to pursue um, extracurricular activities that can help them enter college or the workforce. Well, I like it this year. Um, Give the kids an uh, uh, opportunity to get here on time and uh, we can start start school promptly. Um, and it also gives gives us just a little bit more time to sleep. Well, I mean, I kind of like both of them. It's, it's going to be different, but yeah, I like both of them, really. Uh, this is, uh, for real talk, this is Preston Moore, back here. Have you ever noticed how when you try not to laugh at something, it makes it even funnier? Well, today we're going to put some students to the test. Meow! <laughs> Magic shirt. And it is a done deal. Mike Machuga has won his first ever That's just a stupid... Boulder. It's not just a boulder, it's a rock. Uh... As you can see, trying not to laugh can be pretty hard. Did you pass the test? For Real Talk, I'm Jacob. Back to you. Riddles can be complicated. Gerardo hit the halls to see how many students he could confuse. Has anyone ever asked you a question that made you look dumb? I'm going to hit the hall and see how many people I can confuse with these questions. Alright, tell me real quick, how many feet are in an inch? Twelve. There aren't any feet in an Wait, inch. Wait, no, that's a yardstick. <laughs> if you're going 70 miles per hour, how long does it take you to reach 70 miles? I don't know. How many miles are in a minute? I don't know. An hour. An hour and ten minutes. If I'm going 70 miles per hour, how long does it take to get 70 miles? An hour? What's 9 plus 1? 10. What's 5 plus 5? 10. What's aluminum foil made out of? 10. 10. What? Aluminum foil out of 10? Aluminum foil is made out of. Aluminum. I don't know. Aluminum. Yes. <laughs> What's taller, five twelve or six feet? They're the same. There's no such thing as five twelve. What's heavier, a pound of cotton or a pound of stone? A pound of stone. No. A stone? No! They're both the same. They're both the same. You're right. You're right. How many letters are in the alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, G. 20, mm, I don't know. <laughs> 
32 30 Jesus Christ 26 How do you spell 12th? Um T Y No I don't know T W E L T H No T W E F E S No T W E L T H No T W E L E T H T W E L F T H Yes if Y-E-S spells yes, what does E-Y-E-S spell? Yes. Alright, alright. As. Alright, she got it. If you're in third place and you pass a person in second place, what place are you now in? First. John has 15 puppies, all but eight died. How many you got left? Seven. Six. Eight. <laughs> None. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Seven. What was you? Five? Wait, no. If you got 15 puppies and all but eight die. That'd be... Six, I'm gonna get it wrong on purpose if it's like wrong. No. How do you spell top? T O P. Say it two times. Top top. Say it three times. Top top top. What do you do at a green light? Stop. Wait. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> um, how do you spell top? T O P. Say it two times. Say what two times? Top. top. Say top twice. Okay, top, top. Say it three times fast. Top, top, top. Four times fast. Top, 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 top. What do you do at a green light? Stop. <laughs> You're not gonna get me. <laughs> I'm not. Ha! Got him! Got him! Seven plus six is twelve, or seven plus six are twelve? Seven plus six equals 12. What? What the heck are you talking about? 7 plus 6 is 12. No, equals 12. I don't, I don't know, you're making me nervous. No, no, no. 7 plus 6 is 13. For Real Talk, I'm Dredo Vasquez. Back to you. I'm Sakara Hamlet, and this has been Real Talk News. Happy homecoming, everyone.